dreamt that I walked to the end of the pathway from the door. And when I looked to the east, there were Jesus coming down with angels on each side. It is my privilege to formally give government's commitment to financially supporting the Cayman Islands uh, National Cultural Foundation's effort to preserve and develop what most of us refer to as, as Miss Lassie's house. But what future generations we all hope will know as Mind's Eye. We are seeking uh, funds to finance the uh, Mind's Eye Intuitive Art Centre, uh, a project of the Cayman National Cultural Foundation. Uh, the reason we're seeking funds is that we have come a long way in our fundraising efforts. Um, we've managed to acquire the property with generous uh, donations from the government. Uh, we have, through various um, very enthusiastic group of volunteers, achieved a lot already. In fact, their contribution has raised some $250,000 worth of, of work. Um, we have recently had a pledge from the government of approximately 500000 and so um, we are short a pro an equivalent amount of 500000 So we are indeed looking for funds, and I, we encourage everybody within the business community uh, to provide and assist us with this uh, extremely worthwhile goal to, to preserve um, this wonderful cultural uh, centre um, which, is, which was the home of one of our leading icons in Cayman Islands. The World's, World Monuments Watch is, um, is an organisation that's, uh, that's centred in New York City and their essential purpose as far as I know is they identify buildings all around the world and they give the buildings a kind of legitimacy and with lots of monuments and, and, and World Heritage Sites being bulldozed now, it is, it is an organisation that's really, really terribly important. Their list covers hundreds and hundreds of buildings that have actually been saved because once you get on the site, it gives you a kind of leverage, it gives you a legitimacy. The first thing we want to do and which we're working on now is to complete the conservation and restoration of the paintings in the house itself. And then the second, which we're doing simultaneously, is to continue uh, local artists copying the windows that Miss Lassie did. Because the windows she did are in an advanced state of, of the paint of deterioration. And what we are going to do is to conserve those preserve them and keep them without putting them back on so that we know what they look like, the originals look like. And those will be displayed in the duplex now. The images are going to be copied faithfully, so you're going to see Miss Lassie's paintings done by other artists. And we thought that this was great because you have, artists can then lend their talent to helping us to put the house back in the way it was. But if you want to see the original, just step to the back and you will see what the original looked like at the time when we took them off. Then the next phase is going to be tackling the, the duplex now, which is the education centre, and that, that will be the Mind's Eye Education Centre, and then and gallery. So it will be a permanent exhibition of the windows. There will be a space for other intuitive artists to come in. So and then when we finish those, we're going to then create the shop, which would sell exclusively. It will be the exclusive place for Ms. Lassie's works. We own 124 paintings, and those are enough to put on mugs and cups, and they'll be. And so, when you buy, you're buying a unique, and you know that when you buy that, it's unique to the Cayman Islands. There's no other painter like her anywhere else. Anybody that wishes to be involved should call uh, the Cayman National Cultural Foundation office. Our telephone number is 949 5477, or visit our uh, website, uh, which is www.artscayman.org and uh, look for um, information on how you can assist us in our efforts to complete the work on Miss Lassie's house.